everyone, I'm here to do a who hair tutorial for you. So you just want to start with a part in the middle of your hair, and then your goal is to get a chunk of hair in the center to tuck a cup into. So you're going to kind of use your comb to come down and back and in, so you can get a chunk of hair for each side. And down and back. And oops, in. So you've got a nice chunk of hair in the middle to put your cup in. So I forgot to tell you the things you're going to need for this. You need some tiny elastics and bobby pins and either a paper or styrofoam cup, something that's lightweight and comfortable to sit on top of your head. So I'm just making sure I have enough hair here on all the sides. I'm gonna get a little bit more in the back so I can cover up that cup, especially because my hair is dark and my cup is white, so I don't want it to show. There we go. So once you've got a nice chunk of hair, you might want to, especially if you have little flyaways, wet it down a little bit so that you can get it nice and smooth around your cup. And then you're just going to part it down the middle and you're going to tuck your cup in the center of that part and smooth the hair up around it using your hands you want to make sure your cup is covered and that it is nice and secure in the top of your head Okay, so let's see. I think I'm gonna use a big rubber band for this, not a tiny one, because I really want it to hold tight. Whereas the little ones, those are better for like the end of braids, which we'll be doing in a minute. You can do this on all different lengths of hair. Long hair, obviously, you've got more to work with, but I used to do this on all my girls in the classroom on Grinch Week, and um, I got hoo hair on all of them, no matter what their length was. Okay, so that's kind of your base of your hoo hair. It's already looking fabulous. And I just like to use a little hairspray as I go to kind of keep it looking amazing and in place. All right. All right, after you have your hair up and sprayed in your base, you want to part the back. So you have two sides and you're going to braid each of those sides. <laughs> Okay, once you've got your two sides braided, you're, if you have one, you don't have to do this. I used to skip this part in my classroom because I didn't want to share curling irons, but you can curl the ends of your braids so you have a cool little um, loopy, but you don't have to. This is only if you have a teensy curling iron like I do. From back in the day when super tiny finger curls were like the thing when you did updos. And then you're going to secure your braids to the base of your center puff thing here with some bobby pins. Oops, like that. Let me get the other side. Oops. Let me make sure I'm even. And I'm gonna tuck a couple, a couple bobby pins in. I usually clip them in an X to secure them. So, okay, last, you're going to do something with the top. So you can do a couple of different things here. If your hair's a little longer, you can braid it or thicker um, and loop it around or just let them hang. Um, I am going to do a, like a little bow with my hair. Oh, if your hair's a little shorter, mine used to be like that and I would just curl the ends and that looked really cute, like all the way around, almost like a little bun. But since my hair is a bit longer now, I am just going to loop it like a bow and carefully Put a bobby pin in so I don't uh, mess up my hair around my cup. So here's one side and then the fun 
thing about this is you really can get creative depending on your hair length. And thickness. So everyone's will come out a little bit different. And then if you have um, something, a bow, a red bow would be fine. I always used to put uh, just a red bow, but I have this cool holly clip. So I'm just gonna clip that at the base for a little extra pizzazz. And there you have some crazy festive hoo hair. Isn't that super fun? Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.